If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over the top 10 base leads I'm most looking forward to and expecting in Madden 21. Now, yesterday, guys, I did do the offensive. Today, I'm doing the defensive. So, like I said yesterday, when I was making the video, at first, I was trying to incorporate offensive and defensive, and I was like, wow. When I'm doing offensive, I can just scrape out a list of 10. When I'm doing defensive and offensive, I couldn't even decide. So I realized that I was going to be cutting out a lot of people just for the sake of making a top 10, which didn't really make sense. So I split it up, offensive and defensive. So I'm going to be doing my defensive list. I am pretty excited to go over these guys. Guys, offensive is one thing. Now, there's always players at the beginning of every year that you want defensively. There's always some studs. Pass rushers, of course, considering next year's... I mean, this year's a big pass, pass rush year. And we saw some pretty nice Madden 21 trails that showed some pretty elite pass rushing moves that they've added now so we gotta see we gotta see if it's gonna be that overpowered but it does look like it's gonna be just as good next year as it was this year if not better so i'm pretty excited to get some nice early pass rushers guys you know donald bosa miller and so on and so forth don't want to ruin the list but we're gonna get into this we're gonna go 10 through 1 we're gonna head on over to the auction block show you guys their stats this should give you guys an idea of what they will kind of look like and why i'm excited for them but Guys, before we get into today's video, make sure you're below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on, about boys, come join the family, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always, and if you haven't already, head on down below, comment down below who you think I missed on this list, who I should have added, and who you think is wrongly placed in this list, we'll be taking all suggestions, guys, but let's head on over to the auction block. But guys, if you guys saw the thumbnail and the picture of this card art that is there, that awesome card art is from the director, guys, he makes awesome card art in the mug community, he's an awesome content creator and an awesome guy, if you guys like that card art or anything about that, go check out his channel, I will leave the link down below in the description. Go subscribe over there, show some love over there, and his Twitter as well. But guys, it's about it. Let's get back into the video. Okay, so coming in at number 10 on the list is going to be Derwin James. Strong safety. Now guys, this year you did get an 81 overall. Again, young. Couldn't entirely predict his, you know, what his card should be just yet. But had it basically pretty early on in his career. Guys, he did get hurt. He had some things. But he still went on the field, one of the most dominant safeties probably in the league, at least getting there. So in my opinion, I think Derwin James will get a better card. I think maybe like an 83, 84 this year, hopefully. Obviously, I'm not going to probably give him the top 87, 88 slots yet, but he's going to be up there, 83, 84. Now, a Derwin James card in 83, 84 should have a nice speed. He's like a hybrid, like a speed, hit power, zone combo. So he's going to be great in the run game. Should be pretty fast enough and should get closer to an 80 zone this time around. I think it could be super fun with six foot two frame. Could even be a good user if you use your safety. So looking forward to Derwin James coming in number 10. Now guys, number nine is a guy that doesn't matter what his overall is going to be because at the end of the day, he's going to be useful just off of what his intent, like what he comes with. Like certain people have certain like uh, statistics. Denzel Ward gets speed regardless. Bad man. Let's say he has bad man, bad zone, bad press. Still good speed. Denzel Ward next year basically should probably get around an 82 again. 82 to 84, I'd say somewhere between there. Could easily get an 86 to 88 speed. That is exactly what we're going to need to cover guys like Tyreek Hill early in the year because no one else can be close. Even like good corners like Casey Hayward, Pat P. Let's say any of even the decent corners they give us. Probably going to have like an 84 speed. 83 speed. Tyreek Hill is going to burn them. Denzel Ward's going to be solid. Super solid, in fact. I'm, I'm looking forward to him. I think he's going to be a great base elite as long as I don't screw him. But otherwise, I think he's going to be really, really, really good. Now, coming in at number eight is going to be strong safety. Now, guys, if you guys don't remember how good this card was when the year first started, he was really, really great. Jamal Adams. This card was good for so long. 82 speed, 85 play rec, 80 zone, almost 80 man with lockdown, 86 hit power, 83 pursuit. That was legit 84. Now, Jamal Adams only gotten better. Now, mind you, he may not be a jet by next season. He has requested a trade. Don't know if they're going to do it. But this card next year should probably be like an 85, 86 range, I'd say. Give me one of the better strong safeties. Should be pretty fast. Great hit power. Going to be great in the run game. Great in the coverage game. Great speed wise. Going to be great for stopping the run early in the year. As well as being able to play the pass and being just a great safety. You really just can't discount these guys. Now, the next two are not going to be as easy to find here. Now, the reason being that the next two, I'm actually going to filter these out like this. The next two guys. Early, young, didn't have base leads as far as I remember. So these two, it's going to be based on who gets the faster card. So next one's going to be our user linebackers. Now as far as you guys know how important user linebackers are in Madden, Roquan Smith could be one of the best base leads next year. So we got a 78 core gold this year with an 80 speed. Roquan Smith showed how fast he was last year. 
Roquan Smith is really, really good. If he gets a 81 to 82 overall base lead with an 83 to 84 speed, could be one of the better early user linebackers. Now, the only guy that's going to compete with him, who might arguably get a better card than him, not sure he's going to get which though, is going to be Devin Bush. Now, Devin Bush as well. Don't get me wrong. Patrick Queen could very easily be the fastest linebacker out of the three. But he might he's not going to have a base lead, so we're not going to go with him. But Devin Bush right here had a 7-9 team of the week, 85 speed early on. Guys, if he gets a, if he gets a base lead like 82, 83, even 81, he could easily have like an 85 to 87 speed. That would be the best use. That would be such an amazing user linebacker early in the year, especially to counter the run after what Mark Sound did to us. You guys know Devin Bush had crazy speed all year at linebacker. So super excited. That's going to be number seven, Roquan slash Bush. Whoever gets the better speed is the one you guys want to be going with, in my personal opinion. Next, we got on the list, Bosa. Which Bosa? In my opinion, again, I'm going to do Joey slash Nick. They're both great edge rushers, but I don't know who they're going to give the better card to. So either one of those, I will probably have on my team. Issue with Joey is that he always has finesse move, but he has no block shed. And then Nick Bosa, they just made ass all year. He literally couldn't do anything. So if they make Nick Bosa a base lead next year, that has it. He's a speed, finesse, block shedding combo. He's the best one. If they screw him again, then I'll just go with Bosa. Now, the thing with Bosa early in the year is that he's only going to have finesse move, but he's going to be really, really good at it. So he's going to be an amazing pass rusher, but if they run into it, he's going to get killed. But he, honestly, if they're if you go against most people and they pass early on, he probably gets them really easily with Bosa. So I think that's just a, a, one of those are going to be a great guy early. Now, this is someone I'm super excited for for next year. If Madden does him right, he has potential to be one of the best early base leads in the game. Jair Alexander, 79 overall. At a 79, he has the he's super, super athletic. Super athletic. If he gets a base lead like 84 next year, he's going to probably have like an 87 speed. He's going to be the equivalent of a Denzel Ward, but with better coverage more than likely. He's going to be a really great card. That Jair had a great year. One of the, in my opinion, one of the best cornerbacks in the league. Just, you know, very young. So Madden obviously hasn't like upgraded to that just yet. But Jair has had his fair share of cards. And when he does have cards, he's super solid. And I'm kind of a fan of Jair in real life. So it would be super cool to see him. Coming in at number four, a guy that you know really just dominates the early time of Madden. And that's going to be Von Miller, base elite, 87 overall right here. Guys, this card early in the year was great. He has an 86 finesse move, 80, I mean, sorry, 86 power move, 80 finesse move, 84 block shed, 89 play rec, 83 tackle. This guy in the beginning is going to dominate Madden as he always does. Now his speed isn't obviously higher than an 80, but with those kind of stats at that point in the game, 78 looks is actually a lot faster than you guys may think. This Von, Von Miller every year is always a hot commodity, a great player to pull, and usually pretty expensive. The only guy that we liked just about as much, if not equal, to Von Miller was Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack, guys, coming at number three right here. Khalil Mack dominates the early stages of Madden again. 88 overall. Probably going to get somewhere around the same thing again. 88 overall. Same speed as Von Miller. Better power move. Better play rack. A little less block shed. Better ta uh, Same tack, just about. Really good strength. Khalil Mack's kind of like Von Miller. Just a bit more beefier at a slight cost of a few things, but it's rarely anything. I think Khalil Mack early in the year is going to dominate again. And if they give him, if they even get him better stats, if they, maybe they go up to base. I don't know what they're going to do base leads next year. If they're going to do 88 highest, 89 highest, 87 highest. That's going to dictate. Remember, you can't go based off this year's stats specifically because Madden sometimes likes to push stats back to make sure that we don't cap too early in the year. It's kind of increased longevity. Coming at number two, guys. You guys already know the top two. These two guys dominate the early years of Madden every single time. Jalen Ramsey, one of the best cards to get early in the year. 87 overall, he comes with an 83 speed, which isn't great, not gonna lie. But on anyone other than Tyree Kill, he's amazing. 84 excel, 81 agility, 85 jumping, 84 play rec, 88 man, 86 zone, 89 press. Guys, you put lockdown on this guy and power him up early in the year. He ends up with 90 man, 90 zone, above 90 press. You guys know how crazy that is? And the thing is, most receivers at that time have no release yet. Like, no one has any of those stats. So it doesn't matter how fast they are. For the most part, if you're blitzing, and you man press Ramsey, he will hold his receiver on a press for at least four to five seconds. No joke. Maybe maybe three to five, depending on the, the play and the route. But if he holds them, you're sacking them. So if you have like a guy like Ramsey out there, the guy like Jair, you're gonna be able to clamp some people up. Or again, if you have Ramsey and Jair, put Jair and Tyreek, put Ramsey on the good receiver, and no good receivers you'll be able to get off Ramsey. He is too dominant in the early stages of Madden, especially if you can get some abilities as well. And now guys, coming in at number one on the list, always the best player every year defensively when we start that game aaron donald donald every year this 88 card is going to be phenomenal next year he's just the ultimate combo he's got he's got good speed at end 74 speed at the time 81 excel 
89 strength, super strong, 81 tackle, 88 play rec, 86 block shit, 88 power move, 85 finesse move. You put pass rush on him, he has above threshold, 90 uh, power move, going to be a great, great pass rusher, going to be great at stopping the run, going to be great at recognition, going to have great strength, going to just dominate most tackles. Most people aren't going to have like 88 to 89 tackles at that point in the game. They might not even have those out yet. So Aaron Donald going to be great, guys. That is better for the video. Wrap it up, Derwin at number 10, Ward, Jamal Adams, 7, Roquan slash Bush, 6, Bosa slash Bosa, 5, Jair, 4, Miller, 3, Mac, 2, Ramsey, and number 1, Aaron Donald, guys. Hopefully, you guys are looking forward to Madden 21 as much as I am. Super excited, guys, but that is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, guys, make sure to comment down below, like the video, and subscribe, and turn on that noti bell. Let me know who I missed on the list, who you would have added, guys. That's it. I'm out. Peace.